Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Domingo with you. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to show you how to use Vegas Pro 14's chroma key function. So the first thing that you need to do is good footage with a green screen background and that it's well lit. So once you have all that here, you would go ahead and import the video into your project file if you haven't already. But if you do not know how to do that, we are gonna start from the very beginning. So you have a blank project. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to import media and then we're going to find our footage that has chroma keyed footage in it already. So we're going to select that, drag it into our timeline, and then we are going to go to a point where we can use the footage. So once we have imported our footage, we have to make sure that it's well lit and that the subject is clear. This is the subject that we are going to be using. Not a bad looking dude if I say so myself. So anyways, we are gonna go into the plugin menu by clicking on the plugin button or event effects. So then by default, you will have what's called Vegas Chroma Keyer. We're gonna double click to add that. Then we're going to also add brightness and contrast. And we're gonna click okay. So you first have to configure your chroma key settings to a specific setting. You can choose a color by using the color picker. So we're going to press the color picker, then we're gonna pick a color from anywhere. So we select the proper green, but it's still not perfect. So you can adjust what's called the low threshold, the high threshold, and the blur amount. And to make this easier to see, we're gonna select show mask only. So as you can see, the subject is not totally keyed out. So you have to adjust the high threshold and the low threshold to proper settings. So we're gonna drag the threshold high all the way to this point until you see complete white. Then we're gonna drag the low threshold to a certain point where it's black. And then you can blur it if you feel that it's grainy. So to make sure that you have everything selected, you uncheck show mask only. And then you close out of this window. So currently we have the green screen keyed out but the backdrop is still around us if you have a certain backdrop like this. So what we're going to do next is we're gonna start masking. So you're gonna go into your event pan and crop. So you're going to go to the bottom left and enable the mask. So then what you do is you press the anchor creation tool and then you're going to create your mask. So this is your start point of the mask. So you have to click around here to make sure that everything is keyed out. So once this mask is connected, it will allow us to key out these specific areas, like so. And then once you connect your anchor and mask, it masks out everything else. And you can adjust the anchors by holding down Shift or Control, and then click on a point and then you move the points. So you move the points to where you want to specifically. And there you go. You can make the mask better however you want. So once we close that, we can now put footage behind it. So we're gonna import some footage that I have, like a backdrop. And then you're going to point, you're gonna drag it to your timeline. And there's our mask footage. And this is our end result. We were able to key out the green screen, mask the footage, and make sure that there is nothing appearing on the screen. And this is a clean key, as you can see, because my lighting was pretty good, and the result turned out perfect. So if you're wanting to do like a backdrop or special effects thing and you wanted to use the green screen software for it, this is what you do. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day. Domination is near. We'll see you soon, everybody. Stay awesome.